Hi, I'm Aaron Zolbrod. Welcome to my Medicare Reset Series. This is designed to help those who are new to Medicare or those who are already on Medicare prepare for the annual election period, which starts October 15th and runs through December 7th. What I wanted to do is get back to the basics of Medicare. I've been writing a column in the Post-Gazette and the Trib for a long, long time. We've covered all sorts of topics. But what I wanted to do right now is, is start a series. It's an eight-part series to help those people, again, who are new to Medicare or those who are on Medicare prepare for annual election period. It's a huge thing. So we're going to get down to the real, real fundamental basics of Medicare. Today, though, I want to talk about the history of the health insurance tour, what we do, and what makes us different from other agents and agencies. So let me get into, again, the history. So 14 years ago, I got into this business. Um, I was in a different kind of sales and wanted to make a career change. And I'm going to date myself here, but I put my resume in Monster. And I was contacted by a gentleman who wanted me to sell health insurance and, uh, and Medicare insurance. And he explained to me, hey, there's 40 million people without health insurance at this time. This is back in 2007. There's another 30 million people on Medicare. And I thought to myself, oh, my goodness, 70 million people for me to market to. That sounds like a really good opportunity. So I jumped in uh, headfirst into this field. Well, they trained me. Um, I got my license. And I started traveling all over Western Pennsylvania, gosh, actually all over the Pennsylvania uh, to meet with people um, in their dining rooms and living rooms and kitchen tables. And I found out pretty quickly that this company I was had been recruited for, which was called Mega Health and Life, I found out really quickly, A, they weren't competitive in their premiums, and B, they didn't have a great reputation as far as uh, paying claims in a timely manner or paying them at all, denying them. And that ended my tenure pretty quickly after that. One thing I know for certain after, you know, 25 years in sales and consulting, if you're not offering a product that you believe in, you are doomed for failure. And I could not um, offer up a product um, that I didn't feel good about. And I knew that wasn't competitive. So again, I left. But I saw a great opportunity, in not only in business, but to help people. Because it's a confusing, confusing, confusing industry, always changing, um, you know, claim denials. It's one of the only businesses in the world where you can get a service done, healthcare, and not know what you're going to pay for it until after the service has been performed. It's crazy. And so I decided this is a great business. I want to help people. But a couple things that I realized. Number one, it was never comfortable for me to go into somebody's house, sit down at their house with a bunch of paperwork, get a signature, and leave. It never felt comfortable for me. It wasn't comfortable for me selling one product because when you own, you're captive, which means when you're captive agent, that means you can only offer products from one company. And what happens is you're, you're, you can be compromised because your paycheck, your livelihood depends on that person across the table buying something from you. And you can make that product sound better than it actually is, or you can make that product feel like it's better than another when you know it's not. But you have to do that because you can't get paid unless that person or those people sitting across the table buys. So a couple things. I wanted to have a brick and mortar location. There was literally nobody doing that anywhere that I saw in Western Pennsylvania. I looked around the landscape. I said, why is there a uh, Allstate, a State Farm, a, 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 a Progressive, uh, you name it, every insurance company on every corner in every town, but there was literally no one who had a brick and mortar location selling health insurance. So I wanted to do that. Number two, I wanted to offer all companies products. I wanted it to be a one-stop shop where you could come in and you could tell me your situation. I find a solution from a company and a plan that works for you. And number three, I wanted to have a customer service like you never had before. So it, again, health insurance, you're going to have claims denied. You're going to show up at the pharmacy and someone's going to tell you that's going to be 600 bucks for your medication. You're going to get a bill that you don't understand or that's erroneous. I wanted to be able to have a place where people could walk in the door or call us and someone would pick up the phone or take them back into the office and fix that problem that they're going to have. And I didn't want them to do it on their own. You've all dealt with this with health insurance companies, with other companies. You get lost on the telephone, transferred from person to person to person. You talk to three different people, ask the same question, and get three different answers. I wanted to eliminate all that, and we've done that. We have, again, a staff of remarkable people who treat all our clients just like they're their mom or dad, and we're going to solve those problems every time uh, that there is an issue. So the health insurance store was born. That's the, the, the health insurance store is the name of the business. 
um, where you can come and shop just like I walk in and I shop for different brands of coffee or I can, you know, I wish there was a place I could walk into a cell phone and buy, you know, shop Verizon and, and Sprint and T-Mobile and figure out which is best for my situation. That's what I created at the health insurance store where you can walk in and say, Aaron, I'm healthy. I want a big deductible. I, I, I don't want to pay for small things like Dr. Kobe's. I'm not worried about that. Or I come and say, Aaron, I'm a diabetic. I take this medication. Or Aaron, I travel. Or Aaron, I, my, my income is, is, is not that great. Help me. And that's what we're going to do. So we do consider, our, again, our, uh, ourselves to be the area's utmost uh, experts in Medicare. Again, we're going to provide that customer service for all our Medicare clients and our, our for everybody, we send out recommend, annual recommendation letters on what plan or, or plans we think are best. We keep a nonstop eye on the market. We constantly monitor money-saving programs. So we help people uh, enroll. We, we let them know if they qualify for PACE or PACENET, what those income uh, limits are, which is PACE and PACENET is prescription assistance for those 65 and older. It's paid for with the state lottery money. Um, we found prescription assistance programs, which help people with expensive medications. I'm going to give you an example. It just happened two days ago. We had a client. This is not a, a this is a true story. Taking a $22,000 a month medication. They were spending $2,500 a month on this medication. And next year it was going to go to $3,000 a month. Well, Jennifer, uh, who we call our mountain genius, she gets on the computer. She starts doing some research. She finds a patient assistance program for these people that if you make under 650% of the poverty level, you qualify for this medication for free. These people were making $100,000 a year, but guess what? That's under 650% of the poverty level. These people are going to go on Medicare. They're going to get that medication that they were going to spend $36,000 on next year. They're going to get it for free or at no cost. I don't like that word free, for no cost. So this is what we do for people. This is the lengths that we go. We are always looking under every rock to help you. And one thing I want to mention, we are specialists in one field, health insurance, all things health insurance. That is group health insurance for, for people who own businesses and want to apply, um, give that to their employees, individuals who don't get insurance through their employer, who own small businesses, or who retire early, and our bread and butter, which we do the most, is Medicare. And so that's all we do. We do not do life insurance. We do not do cancer policies. We do not do uh, any, any auto or homeowners. We do not do investments. We don't do that. We want to be experts in one field. So now you know what we do. So we want you to join us for our future webcasts. Again, we have seven more parts of our Medicare Reset series. If you'd like to make an appointment for a no-cost consultation, we can do that over the phone or via Zoom internet meeting if you're not yet comfortable meeting face-to-face. -face. If you are uh, wanting to do an in-office appointment, we'd love for you to do that. We'd love for you to see where, see who you're doing business with. We are taking all precautions during, this COVID during these COVID times, taking temperatures upon entering the building. We ask you to wear masks. We're show social distancing. We are sanitizing, and we do have plexiglass up in our offices between um, – clients, and staff. So 724-603-3403 is the number to call, 724-603-3403. The website is Aaron at getyourbestplan.com. Excuse me, that's my email, and I do invite you to email me personally. The website is getyourbestplan.com, G-E-T-Y-O-U-R-B-E-S-T-P-L-A-N.com. Again, we want you to subscribe to our YouTube page so you can watch all webcasts as they are uploaded. Also, you can go to our website, read my columns in the Post-Gazette and the Trib uh, called Ask the Medicare Specialist A2 on the Post-Gazette every Friday, A7 on the Trib every Tuesday. Those are also on our website. This is me signing off on the introduction to our Medicare Reset Series. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. <music>